Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 22 of the redesign practice online star test. This is one of the new item types equation which uses this calculator here. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So a park was visited by 356 adults, 598 children, total number of adults and children who visited the park. All right, it seems like it's pretty straightforward here, but first got to solve it, then we got to figure out how to answer it. All right, so we are going to use this graph draw feature. And let's expand it out and make it a little bit more transparent so I can kind of see, you see how the transparency changes here? Increase the transparency so I can see the problem a little bit more. So this just lets me draw all over the paper. And, and so this is as close as we can get to simulating having a pencil and paper and, and working out the problem. So I'm going to use this draw feature right here. So 356 adults, 598 children. Total number of adults and children. Well, if I wanted to draw a representation of what I needed to do here, I'm looking for my total, right? So if I'm going to use a strip diagram, I don't know the total. But it looks like I've got two different parts, and I'll try to make them a little bit proportional there. So there's 356 adults. I've got 598 children. So looks like a part, part, whole. Just add those two together. All right. So there's a few different ways we can add these two together. Now, obviously, we can just line it up. And you know what? We've got these grids here. Watch this. We can line it up. We can actually use the grid feature to make sure that everything is lined up and that we're not uh, having a skewed problem because we don't line up our digits correctly. So we could put one, one digit in each of these little boxes here. Normally I don't use those, but it, we can use that feature here. So 6 and 8 is going to be 14. Uh, that 1 and 9 is going to make 10. 10 plus 5 is going to be 15. And then 1 and 3 is 4, 4 and 5 is 9, 954. Now that's just what we call the standard algorithm. Okay, the standard algorithm is when we just line them up and re-regroup. Another way we could have done this would have been compensation. Some of you might have actually done this. So take a look at this. I'll line it up again. 356, 598. You know what, though? This 598, really, really close to 600, right? So if I just added two, I can make that 600. And I could do that in my head, right? 600 and 356. It's 956. But since I added this 2 to get to a friendlier number, I need to go ahead and take 2 back. So you add 2 and then you take 2 away. That's 954. So that's another way you could have done it. Either way, our answer is 954. So let's check this out. Now, we need to enter in our answer here. So watch this. We're literally just going to type in 9. And if we mess up here like I did there... Uh, we'll go ahead and hit that back button. And you see my, my keyboard, I'm using a tablet, my keyboard keeps popping up. You might get that. 954. Now, uh, if you need to, right, you can kind of go back and forth here in between the digits. That's, that's if you just want to maybe delete one, uh, but not necessarily the next one. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just... Leave it like this, 954. And uh, we don't need any to use any of this uh, feature over here on the bottom right, which is your fractions.